Hello everyone and welcome to Blackstar Potential. My name is Lee Fuge and I'm here today with musicteacher.com. And in this video, we're gonna carry on with our series on learning the modes for the guitar. This video is part two and we're gonna look at the minor modes and how you can use those linked to your minor pentatonic scale. If you haven't already checked out part one of this series, I strongly suggest you do so straight away because part one will set you up with all of the basic theory fundamentals that we're gonna be using in this video and all the subsequent videos from here on. All of the tones you're hearing in this video are coming from the Blackstar HT20 Mark II that you can see over my shoulder there, which I've currently got running on the Drive channel. So before we proceed, the reason I need you to go check up part one of this video series is because we talk about the makeup of modes and how we get to the point of having a major and a minor mode to start with. So go check that out to get all your basic theory knowledge and come back here once you've checked that video out. So before we go any further, you do need to know what the natural minor scale is, which is also known as the Aeolian mode. So even though you've already learned the natural minor in the previous video, we are just going to quickly recap this because this is one of the three minor modes we're going to be looking at in this video. And as the title suggests, we're going to be mapping this very closely to pentatonic scales. So the pentatonic shape we're going to be using is our typical first shape pentatonic. So I'm doing this in the key of A minor. So I'm playing an A note, a C note, a D, an E, and a G. And then that repeats. And then finally A and C. So the intervals of this, if you remember the intervals we talked about in the first video, are going to be 1, which is the A, flat 3, which is the C, that's our minor note, 4 and 5, which is the D and E, and flat 7, which is the G. So obviously the pentatonic scale only has five notes, A, C, D, E, G. The natural minor scale, if you remember, we talked about the major scale and the intervals one through seven. To make that into a natural minor, we flattened the three, the six, and the seven. That gave us one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, or in terms of notes, if we did that in the key of A minor, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's the reason A is a great key to start this in. So just to recap on that scale shape, so it's A, B, C, so that's one, two, flat three, D, E, F, that's four, five, flat six, and then G, which is flat seven. Then obviously that repeats to the octave, so it's one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, and then one, two, flat three. Now you will have noticed that there was essentially like a pentatonic scale, but I'm adding a few notes along the way. So if I was playing pentatonic, I'd be playing this. But to make that natural minor, I'm adding a B note, and an F note at every step possible. So it's A and C on the low E string, but I'm adding this B note here. That's my two. I'm also adding the F here, which is the flat six. Also adding the B note here on the fourth fret of the G. So that's my two again. Also got another flat six here on the sixth fret of the B string. And once again, the two on the seventh fret of the high E. So just by adding a B and an F note to my minor pentatonic scale, I create the natural minor scale or the Aeolian mode. So as I mentioned in the initial video, there are loads of different ways to use and implement modes, but this method is just the way that I personally find it the most useful to start with. So the reason I've linked this to pentatonic scales is because I can be playing my regular pentatonic stuff and I can choose specific modal notes either to highlight a chord or a note in the song that I'm playing over or perhaps just to add a different texture or sound to my lead line. So if I'm playing my regular pentatonic licks, I can add a few choice modal notes like this. <laughs> So even though I'm only hitting those twos and flat sixes in passing there, it just adds a slightly different texture to my sound. If I was to play a similar lick in pentatonic, it would sound like this. Mm -hmm. 
Obviously those licks aren't exactly the same, that's just to highlight the point of using the modal notes there for different coloration. Now that is one of the three minor modes we're gonna use. So that is the sixth mode of the major scale, the Aeolian mode, also known as the natural minor scale. Now this is a great way to think about just playing a typical minor scale. You have your major scale, which is all your major tonalities, and your minor scale, your natural minor, which is all your minor tonalities. Now we can deviate from the natural minor and change this into two other minor modes. Now remember that is a mode, the natural minor scale, but there are also two others we're gonna look at as well. And each one of these is just a simple alteration on the one you've already learned. So the reason the intervals are important is because we are gonna be varying certain intervals to get the other modes that we need. So the first one I'm gonna show you is the Dorian mode. The Dorian mode is the second mode of the major scale. This is the same interval structure as the natural minor scale, but instead of a flat six, we've got a natural six. So from that natural minor scale, every flat six we play, we're raising by a semitone. So previously we would have one, two, flat three, which are still gonna be the same. Then we'd have four, five, and flat six. But now we need to raise that six. So this F note here now is gonna become an F sharp note. Now for the purpose of ease of use and ease of playing this, I'm gonna take this F sharp note and I'm gonna play it here on the fourth fret of the D string. The next note I'm playing is still going to be my flat seven, so that's still going to be a G. And then I'm obviously back to my A. So there's my first octave of my Dorian mode. So all I've done there is I've just raised my sixth note. Wherever that F note is, I've pushed that up to an F sharp. The other place that's going to happen is going to be here. So the sixth fret of the B string is an F. I'm raising that to the seventh, which is an F sharp. That's my natural sixth note from the scale. So you see how simple that was? Just by altering one note, I get a completely different modal flavor. The Dorian mode is really useful if you're a blues player or a rock player, and you want to sort of explore that major and minor crossover. Think B.B. King. That natural sixth is a great note to add to your minor pentatonic list to give it a slight major flavor. <laughs> Now the third and final minor mode I want to talk about in this video is the third mode of the major scale, which is the Phrygian mode. Now again, we're going to revert straight back to the natural minor scale, one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. The Dorian was when we raise the flat six back to the natural six. The Phrygian is when we take the natural minor scale and we flatten the natural two to a flat two. So this one's going to be one, flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. So in scale terms, it's gonna look like this. So usually if we're playing natural minor, we'd have one, two, flat three, which is A, B, C. We're flattening the B now to a B flat. That's our flat second. The four, five, and flat six are the same, so that's D, E, and F. Then we've got the G, which is our flat seven. Then we're back to the one, which is A. Now our flat two, which is a B flat note, can also be played here now on the eighth fret of the D string. Then we've got our flat three and our four. Our five, our flat six, and our flat seven. And then we're back to the one here on the fifth fret of the E string, so that means we can add the flat two again on the sixth fret of the E and end on the flat third. So if we run that one up, it looks like this. The Phrygian mode is great if you're playing metal and you wanna get a little bit of that Spanish or Eastern flavor into your playing. So just to recap, if you take your minor pentatonic scale, which is one, flat three, four, five, flat seven, you add a two and a seven note, which in this case is gonna be a B and an F, you get a natural minor scale.
If you take that natural minor scale and you raise the six, you get a Dorian mode. And if you take the natural minor scale and you flatten the two, you get a Phrygian mode. Now you can see how all of these additional notes can easily fit into your minor pentatonic box. So just by shifting a few notes there, you've got three of the minor modes available to you. The natural minor scale is your overall minor tonality. So if you just wanna add some extra color to your minor pentatonic licks, that's a great place to start. If you wanna cross into that major minor blues thing, the Dorian is a great choice. And if you wanna go into the Eastern thing with some heavy metal licks, the Phrygian is a great choice. So you can use these scales to really highlight different sort of textures and flavors within your own playing. Let me know down below in the comments how you've gotten on with this approach to modes and how you guys have used these modes in your own playing. And if you've got any questions on modes that you'd like answered in future videos, please put those below as well. Don't forget to check out Blackstar Amplification on YouTube for more free video lessons just like this. And if you're looking for a music teacher in your local area, please check out the Music Teacher Database over at musicteacher.com. It's a great network of teachers all around the country. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.